Say hi, Sophie. Say hi. Uh, this is Sophie, and I'm Jennifer, and welcome to episode one of the Fit Stitcher Floss Tube, where we're going to do stitching things and some quilting things, and then I'm going to also share my exercise and fitness because I feel it's important with a hobby where I sit so much that I also keep fit and do exercise and take care of my nutrition. And I thought it would be nice to share it with everybody else as well. So, Sophie is going to go patrol the house now. And I'll tell you a little bit more about me. So I live in Hamden, Connecticut. I'm originally from Colorado Springs, Colorado. And I am married to my husband, Urian. He is originally from the Netherlands. He's an American now, but he is Dutch. And, um, I have Sophie, the, the little dog. She's a Morky, Maltese Yorkie mix. And then I have three cats, just regular black cats, Teddy, Mickey, and Girly. And I have no children. I have fur babies. And I like it that way. I'm very happy. So I started cross-stitching. I made a cross-stitch piece when I was really young because my mom cross-stitched. And so I made this little Christmas ornament thing, which I have never finished, which I, I think I'll finish into a cute little pillow or something, in 1986, so that would make me 13, because I was born in 73. And so I made this, and that's I, I had started another little project when I was young, but I never, I, you know, I was busy. I was cheerleading and swim team and dancing, and I had other things to do in school, of course, but this is one that I made, and even back then, I did a pretty good job on the back, nice and tidy, with some long things, but you know, it's pretty good. So then, when I was 21, I had gotten married, and I moved out, you know, away from my parents, and I, I really needed a hobby. And so, this is the very first thing I cross-stitched as an adult when I was 21. And it's those calico kittens, and I had got the chart from Hobby Lobby. And I just needed a hobby that was, like, the most inexpensive thing that I could find and was really easy. And I just, oh, and I even have some of the, the little ornaments of these. They have little, like, knickknacks, and they are super cute. So I made that one back in 1994, and then I made this one as well. And I made lots of other ones. I'll have to get them out periodically. I mean, I have... Christmas ones and rose ones and this one's got a little bit of spotting on it you can see I don't know I might be able to clean that off haven't tried but that's where I started and then I have made tons and tons and tons of cross stitches gifts and given them away and all of that and then I did a lot of Paula Vaughn because I really liked quilts and quilting but quilting is very expensive and I couldn't afford it and so I made a bunch of the Paula Vaughn. Let me go grab one. All right, I'm back. I made the Paula Vaughn Quilts for All Seasons book. And this one is April. I have through, I'm stitching on August still. And then I have through May frame. So I'm behind in putting up my it's August and I have April still up on the wall, but that's okay because I love them. And then whenever we finally moved here and I could have I had somewhere to set up my sewing machine and I could afford to quilt, I started quilting. And like I made that and I hand quilted that. I really love to do hand quilting. I like hand work a lot, I've discovered. I have a machine that can do the machine quilting. And I like it and stuff. It's in the basement and it's all dark and gross down there and hopefully in a couple years we'll move and I'll have my quilting in a nice big open room and I'll feel I'll want to be down there. I don't want to be in the basement. It's ucky. But I, you know, I still use it. But not as much as I should. I have tons of quilts that need quilting. I mean, there's a stockpile. It's pretty bad. <laughs> so... My husband gets on me, he's like, you've got this quilting machine in the basement, you don't use it, and I know I will get, I will do it. But right now, I've been really back into cross-stitch, 
So that's what I am working on. Okay, so what I have been currently working on lately a lot is I found the Chatelaine Designs, the Butterfly Lace Mandala by Martina Rosenberg. She's out of Germany, I believe. And oh my god, these things are amazing. All these little butterflies are one over one, which I have done some one over one, and I love doing one over one. And it's got specialty stitches and beading and all. Oh, oh, it's just so, it's so gorgeous and it's so fun and so addicting and I'm loving it. So here it is. This is what I've done so far. I've got the center part done and some of the back stitching. And now it's time like up in here has some specialty stitches and then there's some back stitch flowers that go here and up here but I got the main center part minus the beading finished and I just love it and I'm just obsessed so another thing I've been working on and I took this off of the thing that it was on is the modern the modern folk art stitch along And it's, uh, I've only gotten the first two months done. I started late. I didn't even start until March. And I am loving it. I'm doing it on, uh, it's, I think, 40 count. It's a 40 count linen. And I'm using color 816. DMC 816. And I like to put my DMC on bobbins. That's how I store it all. And then... Here's the modern folk embroidery stitch along. And I have seen some people have the August and it's one where you um, you get to make your own panel. He gives you all these different little designs. And the guy who designs this is Dutch, which is really exciting because I was watch I was listening to a floss or a um, fiber talk floss tube episode. It's it's a podcast that's audio but it is also on YouTube now but it's mostly audio so you can stitch and listen it's fantastic and they interviewed this guy and it doesn't have his name on here I forgot his name nope and he's from the Netherlands and so it's got some Dutch things in it here and there and it's really interesting and I love it it's so so pretty So anyway I've been working on that and it's very exciting and I love it and I'm gonna get back to that since I finished that center part of that mandala I really want to get back to this now and do another another section so there's that then a friend of mine a stitchy friend of mine she was cleaning out her stitching stuff and she was giving stuff away and she had this Catherine's sampler from the sampler house and she didn't know what uh, she didn't know where she had gotten this from and in the instructions it turns out it was a teaching project so only the people who took the class got it and I don't even she I think she said that she thought somebody gave it to her so now I have it but and I have my fiber talk my Fiber Talk uh, needle minder that I bought from them because I love it. And some of this is over one. All of the, the words are over one, but this stuff is over two. And it has some specialty stitches. Not difficult specialty stitches, but it's got some. There's going to be some satin stitch. And there was some, um, what's it called? Double back stitch. This this up here, this here, this double back stitch with bars, it's reversible. So on the back side, it looks the same. So it's really that's that's really interesting that it's, it's a reversible stitch. If you're interested in stitching reverse. So I've been working on that a lot, and I really like that. I've also been doing the um, the farmhouse the farmhouse Christmas 
little stitchies. And I have finished the grandpa's pickup. Done that one. The horse and around. That one. And the little red barn. So I've got those finished. And then I am almost finished with Dairy Darlin here. I'm just doing the, um, what do I have left on this one? This one I have to just put my initials on and then I'm finished and take out. I always put in, when I stitch, I always put in an X and a Y axis. And I always have, and on your chart, there's little indications of where the center lines are and I always mark those in some sort of marker or highlighter. And because you can always, no matter where you are, you can check and you can see if you're on pattern or if you've missed something. So on that modern folk embroidery one, I was like, oh, it's just small pieces. I can just, I'm good and I can figure it out. And I didn't put in my X and my Y in the little grid. And I ended up being off and had to rip out an entire day's worth of stitching. So I ripped it out and I put in my X and Y threads. It's a lifesaver. I always do it. It's what I do. Because that's what I like to do. So, and so that's that. And then I'm also working on an embroidery project. It's, it's going to be a quilt, but it has embroidery panels in it. And it's this Unseen Hands, Wooly Wisdom by Unseen Hands. And I got this pattern at Lisa's um, Clover Hill Quilts in Berlin, Connecticut. And I'm doing it just a little bit different. I'm... I'm I'm making it more embroidery like instead of just outline stitching. I'm doing some embroidery type stuff. Just, you know, because I'm, 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 I like embroidery. And I got this book. It's a new book by Lorna Bateman, Embroidered Country Gardens. And it is amazing. Oh my gosh. And I heard about her on the Fiber Talk podcast. And instantly I'm on my phone looking for the the book and I ordered it and oh it's amazing and it's totally helped it's got just some of the cutest Let's see if I can get a good picture of she shows you how to do it she's got some patterns and designs back here really cute things you can make it's a little pin cushion and um, here's a little scissors keep thing and um, what's the one that I really, oh, oops. this is a little um, thimble. It's a little thimble holder. Or you could always put coins or put whatever in it, but it's like, it's a thimble to put your thimbles and stuff in. So, um, yeah, it's all sorts of cute projects. So that's what I am using as a guide for my embroidered quilt panels and then so then I have some things that I have been working on that I have finished but not fully finished so this is the summer flag designed by Rebecca Nolan from love and stitches Lucy beam love and stitches and all I have left on this is to put my initials on and take out the X and Y. I just haven't done that yet. And this is on some tiny 40 count linen. And I use a magnifier when I work on something this small. I definitely use a magnifier. It's over two. And then I have the um, Blackbird Designs Butterfly Garden. And I got this from Thistle Needleworks. Thistle Needleworks is a, a they. It's an amazing needlepoint and cross stitch shop and they've got threads galore and beads and they do, I started taking um, needlepoint there, I took needlepoint classes and I still go every now and then. I just have been really into cross stitch lately so I haven't gone much. But these I'm going to make into two like small pillows. And so I've gotten that one completely stitched. This one 
up here it's supposed to say something about over here something about county it says county of jackson is my home but i don't want to write that so i'm going to write maybe welcome spring or i haven't figured out yet what i'm going to write so i haven't really completely finished that one and then put my initials too but oh i just love them they're so pretty so pretty and then this is a little kit that i got i went to the um what was it called? Celebrations of Needlework in Nashua, New Hampshire. It's a um, like a retreat thing they put on every year. And it, I went with my friend Janice. We had gone up there. It's just a day trip because it's, you know, an hour and a half from here. Everything out here is close. And this was a little kit, this little home of the brave. And I thought it was super cute. And this is stitched, a lot of it's over one. The pinwheels are over one, and then some of it's over two, and then I just need to fully finish it, and I have the little charm. There's a little star charm that goes on there, so I have to put that on. But that's really cute, and I really like that. So I did that, and then I've done, I did Jolly July. Part of July, I was in... Um, Indianapolis at the Beachbody Summit. Beachbody is the company that I do the workouts through and my nutrition and I'm a coach. And it's it's like a lifestyle health coach. We just help people find what where they need help in their nutrition and fitness and we guide them along the way. Coaching, the coach is free and all you do is you pay for the Beachbody on demand, which is like Netflix. It's like Netflix for working out. It's got all the Beachbody things on there. You just stream it on your phone, your tablet, your computer, wherever. Anyway, so that's where I was for part of July. So I didn't get a bunch of Jolly July stitching in, but I had gotten these, um, I think these are the Just Cross Stitch magazine Christmas ornaments. Make sure I have it folded. And it's uh, blue ribbon designs, and she had a set of three. So we have... Carolyn Cardinals, which is this one. Nope. Carolyn Cardinals. Then there was two stars and a stag. Has the deer. And then one called Frosty Friends, I believe. Yes, with the snowman, which I just think is the cutest. And I just finished that one a couple days ago. Super, super, super cute. And oh, I used, I had bought some just little bits of fabric at um, that Celebration of Needleworks. And from Bush Mountain Stitchery, I bought this 40 count Park City Blend Linen. And then I tea and coffee, I tea and coffee dyed it because I wanted it darker. It wasn't very dark. And so it's got a little bit of modeling. I wasn't interested in a lot of modeling. I wanted it just darker. So I tea and coffee dyed that and then I baked it in the oven for just a smidge. And um, so that's what I have finished lately, but it's not all fully finished. That will happen now that I have... This floss tube, I will be inspired to fully finish things so I can then show some fully finished items. I don't have anything over there? No. No. So, that is all of my stitching and my embroidery. I also quilt. I knit. And I'm doing lots of that stuff too, but not a lot of it right now. So, until I, you know, whenever I work on some of that, I'll bring it out and show some of that um but yeah now i i'm gonna i need to do my workout so i'm gonna have my energize put on my workout gear and do my exercise i'm doing the um the uh now i can't remember the name i know i know the real time the fix extreme in real time on beach body with autumn calabrese and I love it. I love all the new calibres. I started out with her 80-day obsession um, 
program and oh my gosh when I first started I was like dying I could barely I could barely I mean I couldn't run I had um bunion surgery on my feet 10 years ago and it you know you lose all of your muscle because you can't you have to sit with your legs up I got lots of quilting in <laughs> hand quilting but I didn't you know get any um trying to find the uh, thing here. You lose all your muscle and then because you're sitting and then once you lose your muscle, putting on weight just happens even faster because your muscle burns off fat. So here's the 80 day obsession. I started with that one and it was awesome. I Like I said, I could barely jog I couldn't do a push-up I could I was dying through these pro these exercises by the end of it I lost 12 pounds I lost two and a half percent body fat I went down I had to buy new shorts this year and last summer my shorts were a size eight and this summer I bought a size four I was really surprised I thought I would only go down to a six but I ended up going down to a four and I'm really happy I still have you know ways to go but progress and I feel better and so yeah that's going to be my workout today is going to be the 21 day fix real time is what I'm working on this one this is my beach body on demand and I will film it and stick a little clip in here of me I'll make it fast I'll fast forward it and then um yeah that's what I do and I am on Instagram, Jennifer Copaz Rose. And I am also on Facebook as Jennifer Copaz Rose. And I will find a way of putting those in the bottom because Jennifer spelled with one N and then Copaz and Rose. And so um yeah, just follow me if you're interested in Beachbody, send me a message, and I'm just gonna start sharing what I do, sharing my exercising and hopefully inspiring someone to want to do it's you know, most of the exercises are half an hour. Get in shape while, because you know you sit a lot when you stitch. Do a lot of sitting. It's not the most healthy thing for you. And I did not enjoy, it. I was starting to feel uncomfortable sitting. It just, it was starting to be bothersome. I didn't feel good. I was tired. I, and now I have tons more energy. I feel much better. And some problems I was having with my shoulders and neck and stuff are going away because I'm exercising those muscles. So it's 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 helping. It's helping with with the ergonomics of sitting and stitching and and working muscles so that other muscles aren't strained because these other muscles are really weak and not working properly. Um, yeah, it's really helping me a ton. So um, yeah, that's what it's all about. I. It's a short little video to start, but that's good. And I will see you next time. Thanks, bye. All right, so I'm getting ready to work out now. Drinking my power juice. I have moved all the furniture out of the way. There's Sophie, she's gonna watch. And this is my workout space. Cause that's all the space I have. Here we are, here's my workout space. Oops, there goes my mat. Sophie, I have to have my support. Huh, you gonna support mommy while I jump around? Since a good girl. Gonna get dirty with Dirty 30.
now we have 10 minute abs bonus. This is killer, but I can get through it now, whereas before I couldn't. So, here it goes. Hey, welcome to 10 minute abs. This is our third time doing it. <laughs> my third time doing it and I can actually get through the whole thing this time a little modifications here and there but when I first did it I had to pause and rest and you know it was <laughs> I wasn't going straight through so I can go straight through now so that's progress like I said you have to just keep making progress you start where you start and you just keep going and you will be surprised at what you can do so thanks